Well, joining me now in the box is someone who had a lot of fun herself at the Hotman Cup Pro-Am yesterday. She's one half of the American team, Alexandra Stevenson. She got the call up to this year's Hotman Cup at very late notice to replace the injured Monica Sellis, one of her heroes. The USA going down to Sweden 3-0 yesterday, but they meet Belgium, first time team here at the Hotman Cup. Next up tomorrow, Alexandra, welcome. Thank you. And uh, welcome to Perth. Your first time to Australia? Um, my third time. I played juniors the other two times. In. So, my first time to Perth, though. Okay, now we spoke to James Blake a couple of days ago. He got the late call up when he was at a football match on Boxing Day, I think it was. What was the story for you? Um, I got the call on Christmas Day after I had opened my presents, so <laughs> I was at home and it was, it was pretty hot. It was about 75 degrees. It wasn't as cold as where James was. I was in California. And how did you feel to be replacing one of your heroes in Monica Sellers? I was very excited. Um, I had known that Monica was hurt and because uh, I lived down in the same place where she lives in Florida and I'd come home to California for Christmas. And I was kind of surprised that she pulled out that late, but I was happy to do it. Well, it's terrific to see you here in Australia in Perth for the Hopman Cup. Now, yesterday, Sweden, difficult always, your <laughs> first matches of the year. Not the start you would have wanted, but how did no. you rate your and, and James' performance yesterday? Um, well, my performance was not very good. I was a little off, and I was just not myself on the court yesterday, but hopefully I'll play better the next time. And it was my first match in three months, and it's hard to travel a long way, so... Asa got a little lucky, but oh well, I'm, she got her first win in a lot of years, so that was nice yes, for her. Yes, her first I guess. win ever at the Hotman So Cup. I gave her that Christmas present, or late <laughs> Christmas present, but um, the next two matches I think I'll be ready. Okay, well next up tomorrow you've got uh, world number 14 in Dominic Van Roost. What can she yeah. expect? Um, she's a tough player. I played her at a warm-up tournament before Wimbledon and I um, beat her. But she's tough and it's a different surface and she's 14 in the world, so I'll just be prepared. Now, Alexandra, Australian fans, of course, know you best for what you did to Elena Dockage at Wimbledon last year, defeating her in the quarterfinals, the first female qualifier to make it through to the semis of Wimbledon. I mean, that must have been the highlight for you so far? Probably. I mean, well, actually, the highlight probably is buying my first apartment <laughs> with my mom, but... Um, that was pretty much my year. I mean, I graduated high school and I went straight to Wimbledon and it just happened and it was great because I guess I was ready. I had turned pro in qualifying and I decided that I wanted to be a professional and I carried it out and now here I am starting my full 2000 year. Yeah, to be a pro, to make it through to the semi-finals of a Grand Slam, has that whetted the appetite for what you would like to achieve in your um, career? Well, I've always wanted to win Wimbledon so it was a good start. I was kind of disappointed that I didn't get to the finals, also because I wanted to play Steffi Graf and she ended up retiring so I never got a chance to play her so I was a little unhappy about that but it was a great run and hopefully I'll have better runs in the coming years. Your mum is here with you in Perth as well this year for the Hotman Cup. Does she travel around the circuit with you? How much of a support has she been? Uh, yes, she goes everywhere with me. She's a great support. She. She does laundry, she gets, <laughs> she gets everything done for me, she makes sure I'm happy and I think it's very important for young girls like myself and everyone else. You see Hingis with her mom and Yelena with her parents and Kornikova with her mom and I think it's important to have support even, with, even if you're like 30 years old because it's a hard road out here and you need help and you need close People, you need people close to you. Now, Alexandra, two quick questions. Your mum and you buying an apartment. Where do you live? <laughs> um, I just moved to Florida, down to, in Bradenton, at Nick Balateri's. Actually, IMG Academies now, and I'm working with Nick Balateri down there. And we made the move because California was really hard to get practice in, because <laughs> you have to drive everywhere. And it's really nice because I just roll out of bed and I have training and anyone to practice with and it's all right there and I don't have to go anywhere. And uh, well if we're to see a rematch of Wimbledon quarterfinals it will have to be in the final this Saturday if you make it through so best of luck. It was Thank great you. to hear you sing as well at the New Year's Eve ball. It's terrific to see you in Australia. Thanks. Best of luck for the USA. Thanks. Alexandra Stevenson joining us in our box.